Yes, Windows 98 is prepared for the holiday season. In case you want to know where I got this desktop theme, I got it off of Theme World, and I'll provide a link to that in the description below. Windows 98 Second Edition is one of the best operating systems to play games on PCEM version 17. If you're using a Pentium 2, the Pentium 2s are the best way to play your late 90s games like Croc, 1 and 2, Star Wars, Dark Jedi Knight, Need for Speed 3, Need for Speed 2, NHL 1998, NHL 1999, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, Toy Story 2 Action Game, and there are a few others. And it's also good for playing DOS games like Doom. I'm going to play the second one. Show you how easily it runs on a thing too. I think it's my OBS that's making it a bit slow. Sorry for the lag, but it works. First one also works, but I have the version for Windows 95. I'm going to show that too. Oh, 
Oh, this one sure does work on OBS. Big necessity. It is a must have for any Windows 95 or 98 computer you have. It works on Windows 98 on PC EM like a professional. Another good game to play on Windows 98 is Croc, The Legend of the Gobos. I know there's a version you can play on Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11. Except the Windows 7, 8, and 10 versions do not have the Fox Interactive or Argonaut software logos, whereas the original version does. See if it'll load or not. Any day now. All right, it's not loading for me for some reason, but. According to Device Manager, there are the drivers I have on this on this machine. The video driver is a FreeDFX Voodoo 3.
them any 2000 compatible network card. I don't know how to get it connected completely, but if you know, good. But I don't feel like connecting this to the network right now because I mostly use this for games and whatnot. The sound card I have is a sound creative advanced wave effects synthesis for a WE32. And I have a Voodoo 2. 3D Accelerator for games. And I did give it some updates like Internet Explorer 6, because it originally had Internet Explorer 5, but I upgraded it to Internet Explorer 6. And I upgraded Windows Media Player 7. I don't even... I think Windows Media Player was the original version of Windows 98, if you install the OS. But I upgraded it to Windows Media Player 9. I'm going to run DX Diag here. See, we have an Intel Pentium 2 MMX. Let's see if it'll even load. We have an Intel Pentium 2 MMX with 450 megahertz, 512 megabytes of RAM. And I gave it a big hard drive, which is 63 sectors, 16 heads, one eight, and an 8 gigabyte hard drive. 8 gigabyte hard drive, so I can have enough space for games. And I did upgrade to DirectX 9. Just want to show you that diagnostic tool is just for fun. Direct draw tests are done. We're going to test the direct 3D. Direct X7 is what originally came with Windows 98, but I upgraded to Direct X9. there. I also have CPU ID in here. It looks like I may need to download it, so give me a second and I'll be right back.
Okay, I installed CPU ID off camera. This is the version for Windows 9X, like Windows 95, Windows 98, and Windows ME. As you can see, we have an Intel Pentium 2, Dets Huts, Slot 1 SCCC. It says 133 megahertz, but I'm running the one with 450 megahertz. Main board is a gigabyte technology, and the model is an I4440BXW977. And it does have a chipset and a south bridge. Award Software International Inc. 4.1 PG. And it was manufactured on April 25th, 2001. Even though the board is from 1999, I'm guessing it some update from Tail 1 must have done that. But who knows? And this is the main video driver. So, yeah, that's Windows 98. So, this is Windows 98 SE.